Hey guys, what's up? It's Random Kiwi from Rose Revolution. And last time you saw my piston door, and a few of you, not everyone, but a few of you were confused about how this button thing works. Because you press this button, the pistons open, and they pretty much just stay open until you walk over these pressure plates. And then they close. And then you walk over the pressure plates, and they will close behind you. And I did show how to make it, but I guess I didn't really explain it too well. So, uh, for all those people who didn't understand it, I'm going to show you very basically how it was done. You'll, I'll just demonstrate it with redstone. Uh, we won't need redstone repeaters, we'll need redstone. Uh, we'll, instead of a piston door, I'm just going to show you it with a iron door, which is here. Uh, pressure plate, and a button, and any solid block, I'll get stone, and a non-sticky piston. Okay, and actually I'll get a repeater as well. There we are. Okay, so you guys were confused of how a button was permanently making a door stay open. So I'm going to demonstrate that to you. Normally, as most people know, if you put redstone, whoops, and just put a door down, then put a block with a button on it, then the button will only activate it for a few seconds and it'll just turn off. So, um, what I did with my piston thing though that you guys didn't get is instead of making it go directly to a door, I made it go to a piston. And that piston, oh yeah, I'll need a redstone torch as well. That piston actually had a block on it, and then there was another piston here. And basically, when this piston pushes it, then this redstone torch will send a pulse through this block and activate my door, which will be here. Yep, this is my door. So, as you can see, when I press the button now, the block stays in front of it because these pistons aren't sticky, and the redstone repeater and the redstone torch activate the door, and it doesn't turn off because nothing is going to pull this block away. And then, as for the pressure plates, they were just here, and they went to the second piston, which was over here. And I'll just quickly make this go back a bit. And these, this redstone went to this piston, which pushed the block back, and means it deactivated the store. So, as you can see, like that. And because the pressure plates were right next to the door, it makes it open for a short while, and then closes. So, if you, you have enough time to walk out, and it'll close behind you, and you can press this button, and once again, pistons will push this block, and the redstone will activate the door. You want to walk in, you walk over the pressure plate, the door closes behind you because it activates this piston to push this out of the way. And it also activates the door for a short amount of time so you can walk over it and get out. So yeah, that's it for all you guys who are a bit confused over that. Um, I hope you, that clarified things. If you're still confused, just put a comment in the section below. Um, as usual guys, keep cool and see ya. Thank you for watching. If you like our content, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you want more tutorials, then click on the Kiwi folder. If you like this video, give it the thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give it the thumbs up. Goodbye.